Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Look at that, they are all back together again. The Bronco Sport, I think it's around the corner. But we did get our Badlands Bronco back from the shop. It went to Sam Galloway Ford here in Fort Myers and they did replace it under warranty. So that was really nice, kind of unexpected because of the amount of dirt it had on it. Uh, it was obviously, uh, could be seen that we used this vehicle the way we thought it should be used. So alternator fix all back up and running um it's nice to see an area 51 uh along next to another area 51 vehicle pretty cool um i've been driving the maverick around uh, as long as they're not sweaty and dirty need to get some seat covers on that but uh filling in uh leather seats on our out, uh, outer banks here so because i didn't have that i had to do the uh topographical map um topo map relief map whatever you guys want to call it i had to do that on the outer banks um i really like how it turned out when we first installed it uh there were actually air bubbles and it was kind of milky from the water under it and i'm like shoot that's not gonna work um one of my friends back in houston said you know just that's the way it's gonna be just leave it out in the sun and sure enough it has kind of like baked to this it's been warm uh in fort myers so if you guys are up north you need a lot more sunlight uh, to dry these things out but look at that um unfortunately the camera doesn't even capture kind of how cool that is uh basically looks like this design was just placed right on the paint from the factory uh really neat but uh, that same carbonized gray, I'm going to go ahead and remove it from this vehicle, uh, and we're going to put it right there. Uh, we're just going to replace that, uh, I think. Uh, it'll look really good. So let me go get that product. Um, I want to show you guys exactly how I install it and what you should expect uh, before it dries out. So there's no uh, misconstrued ideas of what you should be getting. Um Every once in a while we get bad reviews and I people, I, I, I don't know. We have videos on almost all of our product pages and we have descriptions and photos. If you want your vehicle to look like the photo, you buy that item and you install it properly and the end result will be achieved. So something must uh, in your mind make you want to go out and purchase that item uh, because somehow you like the way it looks. So... If you follow our directions, you look at uh, all the reviews on our products, you'll get a good uh, concept of what uh, you are purchasing and how uh, your vehicle should look once you install the item properly. Just heed all of our warnings. Uh, right now it's 77 degrees with a high of 81. We do this in a warm environment. I like to install vinyl around 70 to 80 degrees. It seems to work the best. Um, it it responds, the adhesive responds well, the materials responds well. Once it gets too cold, it starts to get brittle. So we can go all year and not have any problems uh, anywhere in the United States. But then once it starts to get cold, you see these people in colder environments start to have a lot of problems. Now either save up your vinyl or try to do everything you can to replicate that exact uh, environment and for you guys that are in super warm environments like right now before I install this I am going to flip this vehicle around I'm going to put that uh, fuel cover uh, on the opposite side I'm going to put it on the shady side because I want to be able to control any additional amounts of heat and the longer I play with that material in this sun the more stretchy it'll become and that soapy water that we're going to use during that install is going to dry right out so I rather have uh, a little bit more water than desired uh, during the install and then I'll add heat and I'll let it dry out and I'll keep on watching it through that process. If the sun dries it out too quickly, it's really hard uh, to reinstall um, or just to get that install correct uh, in the first time. So let me grab everything we need to do, flip that vehicle around and we'll meet back right here. All right, so it looks like I was only able to get partial shade on this side. Uh, I'm not moving the vehicle again because I have a power cord so we can hook up our little heat gun. I'm trying a couple different products uh, in this installation that we don't typically use. Um, however, I since this is so dirty, first we got to remove this. 
I'm gonna use the speed wipe. It doesn't have any wax on it because uh, we don't want to add wax uh, below a sticker. Uh, we don't want to put anything in between that nice clean paint and the sticker for best adhesion practices. Um, using a microfiber cloth, um, I do have my squirt bottle that is available on our site. Um, we fill it up to here with water, the very top, and we add a few drops of dish soap. Alternatively, you can use a little hand soap if you don't have any dish soap. Um, but that's what we use the most. Um, I am going to try this rapid tack. Uh, it has very specific instructions. We'll go through that when we get to it. First, let's clean off our application area. For this sticker, you will be getting two, uh, just so you can get used to the installation. If you mess up, you have another one as backup. If someone does something weird to your vehicle, you can use that backup. If you didn't use it during the installation, that type of thing. Just want you to be able to get through this install the first time around and not have to ask us for any extra products. Um, and if you install it really well, then you can give it to your buddies. So let's get this on the mount and then we'll get this area cleaned up. All right, first we will try our normal items. Use our new normal items our microfiber cloth and our chemical guys speed wipe with no wax let's clean that area off let's open this up actually because i can see dirt on the inside of it we will do this install and it will leave some of the vinyl going around the edges I think it's better practice to wrap it around the edges on this one so you don't so you can continue to see that design from the edges and so it doesn't leave you a little short covering the front of it uh this has been on there for a while you can check whenever i installed this on the video but it is warm already so i'm just going to get my fingernail in there Trying to keep it all in one piece. Every once in a while we get questions about removal of vinyl, so it's good to be able to get something on camera. Just be patient with it. You want it to stay one piece. It's a lot easier to do. Now, if it was cold right now, you start ripping away at this thing, it's going to come off in multiple sections. So let's work our way around. You will see it's going to break on some of these sharp corners. So we'll start in another area and peel it up so it can meet what we've already pulled up. Yes, my installation videos tend to run long, but I have shot a few where people are like, well, why'd you fast forward through such and such process? So I don't do that anymore. You can use the YouTube um, functions on the bottom of that screen and you can forward through anything, go back as you wish. I like to shoot these installs and give you guys like a real life look at, you know, what happens during an install, what potentially could happen. Um, stuff happens during installs that I didn't even expect to happen. So it's good for you guys to see how we work through those. This is where dirt has grabbed some of those edges. And because we're installing a clear fuel door ideally we don't want to have these little lines on there or they will shine through 
All right, so normally the next step for me would be to spray it down with the soapy water mix. Get that all wet. And then we would come to our vinyl over there and we'd peel it up a little bit. It's a, it's a little breezy right now. You might hear the, uh, the trees in the background. I'd peel it up a little, spray it, peel it up a little, spray it, and make sure I get all of that back wet because if you just pull it off of the backing paper and it folds on itself, then you're kind of stuck with it folded to itself. So do it in little sections uh, so that if it does fold on itself, you can actually fix that and just peel it right back off. Um, the soapy water will allow you to do that. Um, clean your hands before you're working with this material. You don't want any of that dirt to get on the back of it. And the best way you can prevent that is by cleaning your hands. Now, for this rapid tack, it says, do not clean with window cleaner, alcohol, or any other solvent. Use only rapid tack and the cheapest kitchen paper towel, no cloth. Um, they want you to spray this down, clean it with that cloth, and then spray down the um, vinyl with this as well. So let's go ahead and spray it. We'll spray it down. I'm not going to hesitate being liberal with that. I'm going to go get the paper towel this time. We'll clean that prep area. I think there is a little bit of alcohol in this. Should help with the cleaning. So we may care of this in our site in the future. We will see if they will let us distribute this. Making sure that is as clean as possible. Okay. Now we're gonna get our vinyl. Gonna do what I said. Gonna get the edge of it, peel it up a little bit, spray, and continuously do that until I'm ready to take the whole thing off of the backing paper. So I pulled, sprayed, pulled, sprayed, pulled, sprayed, and then finally took it off. I'm going to spray down this area again. Right, we'll put that rapid tack right there. Now we will start the installation process. I do not have my squeegee. I wish I had that by my side. So my hands were dirty. I did see my fingerprint right there. We're going to try to align this as much as possible. I am going to go ahead and get that uh, squeegee. I'll be right back. So you can do this with your fingers pushing out those bubbles, or you can use a credit card with a microfiber on top of it. That helps a little bit, but from the store are squeegees. Uh, a lot of you put a lot more force down. So the part that makes this installation a little bit more tricky is this little, this little indentation right here. Um, you wanna make sure that you have enough coverage on the bottom so let's see here. I'm pulling it up because once I tuck it into that little area, it's going to take up some of this extra material. So the tr one of the trickiest parts is this, this little area up in here. And 
installing the clear, you gotta be sure that it's down all the way. Obviously it is optically clear, so you might think that it's down all the way when it's not. I can already tell this rapid tack is making this insulation a lot easier. When I was installing it on a carbonized, I was just having issues uh, between being too much soap and too little soap, and that's when I had to uh, add heat. We got this little uh, heat gun for uh, pretty cheap, and we're gonna test it out and see if we wanna offer it to you guys. Again, so, heat. If it burns you, that's probably too much. So always feel it out, feel how hot it's gonna be. Apply it sparingly. You can apply it at angles so you don't hit it directly on. You can hit it real quick. You really want to apply as little heat as possible. You want to see how the vinyl reacts to it, get an understanding for that. But we are giving you two of these so that if it takes you a little bit longer to learn how it's going to respond, you have a backup. If you mess up the first insulation, go ahead and try the insulation uh, right on to the end so you realize what you need to stay cognizant of with the other material. Now, this rapid tack, I, we'll see how it looks afterwards, but so far I'm really digging it. It bridges that gap between too soapy and not soapy enough. Um, here's a good place to use the heat as well, right on the corners. You kind of just stretch it over that corner I like to go up and over instead of going along the line. When you go along the line, you kind of just push it all to one side. You just want to stretch it straight over the back of it. And then you won't get any areas where it bundles up real bad. So as you're doing this, make sure you're not introducing bubbles back into this area. If you are, just push them, push them right out. You will have to leave your fuel door unlocked because you'll reach this area right here and you really need to get in there. I don't know, I'm making a very early call on this rapid tack, but if the company doesn't use the saying, once you go rapid tack, you never go back, I don't, I don't know. I think they're missing out on that one. Looks really good, honestly. Maybe it's like I can't see the final results as well as I, I mean, maybe the Area 51 paint doesn't show as much as the carbonized did, but this install looks good. Pretty good so far, way better than when I first did it on the carbonized with the soapy water. If you guys have Prime, this is available. Uh, the Rapid Tack bottle is available on Prime. You can get it to yourself probably in one day. So while you're purchasing our products, you can, you can grab that if we don't have it yet or we're out of it. I don't know how signing up for distribution of it will go we'll see all in all i rather you guys have the products you need to get the results you want 
versus not recommending them just because I can't distribute them. Usually, usually I'm pretty good at convincing companies to let us carry their products. You guys are awesome. You build up a, you've helped us build a large customer base and that's, that's power in the industry, honestly. That's how you get companies to listen to you. You show them that people are buying your products. They're listening to your videos. They're subscribing. I'm spending, honestly, more time on this install than I feel like I normally would because I'm, I'm liking the results so much that I just want this to look good on my vehicle. I do drive this vehicle. I do love it. Not only am I selling you guys products, but I'm genuinely enjoying the vehicle as well, so... All right, so you can see some areas of uh, milkiness where it's not the same color of this. I am going to park this vehicle directly in the sun. I'm just gonna pull it out, sun will be on it directly, and it should dry all of this out, and you should get the same result as we have on that carbonized vehicle. That carbonized vehicle, I didn't do the insulation 100% perfect, and the sun has dried it out. Uh, those air bubbles have escaped even, and the milkiness is completely gone. But Pretty unique. This is from uh, Badlands National Park. I did find, uh, I think, what, U.S. Geological Survey map. So it is accurate um, to, like, 2017 or so. Pretty cool. Uh, good piece to talk about. Um, I know you guys like uh, this design. So I was happy to be able to experiment on clear um, material printed on there, uh, over laminate it with 2.5 mil uh, protectant to uh, decrease uh, the rate at which this fades and also kind of protect it. When you go through car washes, it's not, it's not hitting that ink. Uh, it's protected under that ink. So thank you guys so much. Um, we are so busy. We are doubling staff. We're doubling machines. We're purchasing as much as we can to keep up with the demand you guys have put on us. We're so grateful uh, for that. But in turn, it is making us hard to knock out more uh, templates. I want to keep on uh, being able to provide those to you and take some of your input. But when it comes to custom jobs, it's getting a little bit hard. I need uh, to be able to make products that are, you know, universally accepted that I can print, you know, 20 of them at a time and you guys uh, purchase them on our website. So sorry if I'm not able to do every custom product, but we still appreciate you guys and we're still here to do as much as we can for you. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things on the 2021 plus Ford Bronco.